Time for some science. Cars and cameras edition, am I right? Cars and, get, cars and cameras style. That's right. So we want to see how much of a performance difference Ike's head really makes. So we have this 212 Hemi engine with a lot of stuff done to it, right? Yeah. Ike has his uh, highly modified head port polished, um, shaved 50 uh, 50 thousands. Right, so we're gonna do a pass with the stock head right down the time for 120 feet, and then we're gonna do another pass with Ike's head and see what kind of difference we make, so. Plus or minus difference. Plus or minus difference, yeah. What do y'all think? Yeah, man, I hope for your sake it, it uh, it's faster, mm -hmm. <laughs> at least a little bit. My modifications might not shine until we're heading down the road at high RPMs. All right, well, I'm gonna give you the timer, and I'm coming this way. I'm gonna do three passes. Three passes. Four fifty nine, if y'all can't see that. Four point six four. You want to do one more? Or are you good? One more. One okay, more. one more. Four point nine. Let's see if we can improve that. I don't know that we're gonna find too much difference because the first half, the I mean, the clutch is slipping the whole time. Okay. So it'll be fine. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Are you kidding me? We we haven't had this part yet, have we? No. Oh, there you go. Ooh, some rust. A little bit of corrosion going on there. Yeah. There she is. I think you might have to turn it. There we go. Good. There's one valve. I guess I need to call my brother. Bada bang. And here's the uh, intake valve. Ooh, bada boom. Now we just need to extract our performance spark plug. So these are the bent valves. I've always wanted to do a demolition derby, but you know, it costs some money to do it. You gotta have a lot of safety stuff. It's not right. the same part number. It's not? No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Screwdriver to the thumb. Ooh. Ooh, there we are. You the man. Numero uno. Let's take a look. Intake. Different part numbers on them, but it'll be fine. <laughs> Can I see? Yeah. There's the other. And there's two. Cool. Uh, now we can remove this because we're using your carb yes, right sir. now and not yes, yet the Makuni. Other than that, let's take a look at the gasket, non-existent. Uh, uh, we probably ought to clean them up. Yeah, we'll clean up the services. And if see you if we can, can remove that gasket. This one. Huh? Yeah, we'll see if we can salvage yeah, this one. Yeah, salvage that one and then use it. Okay. I know I should not be putting that head on the yeah. concrete like that. There we go. Um, you're gonna need these nuts, aren't you? <laughs> nah. All right, so the head's on, throttle's mounted, new spark plugs in. I need to uh, get these studs in. I'm right here. <laughs> Why do we keep working at night? Because we had a big pizza earlier. Oh, yeah. Had to take a nap. And now, for the Isaac Special carburetor. I wanna do a... Uh, uh, a it'll be fine valve adjustment Perfect. for testing purposes only. Yeah, that means we can hear it tonight. Yeah. Good. Would you look at that precision that works? <laughs> no precision on the inside, I don't care. It'll be fine. That's right. Ready? No, I gotta get holes. Yep, perfect. All right, can you uh, be my cameraman? Are you gonna start it? Yeah, I got you. 
Okay. All right. Field um, uh, wait. Just double check and make sure the linkage, the fuel linkage and everything looks good. Or not the fuel linkage, but the throttle, throttle linkage, linkage and everything looks good. Let's feel the compression. Yeah, feel the compression. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Wow. All right, ready? Yeah. Louder, I think. Yeah. I think you ought to get on it and go for a ride. I think I won't. Wouldn't want to ruin my good go power sport shirt, man. can't see anything. All right. Sorry you had to see that. Uh, so tomorrow, doing another 120 foot time to see if it got any faster or slower. Then we're gonna take it back out to our runway slash the country estate yeah. and see if we picked up any kind of speed. We can bring the Matuni carburetor with us. And, and bolt it on change it out, out there. Change it out there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. okay. Yeah. See you then. What you got? <laughs> I've got half and die sets, cool. some hose, some nipples, e. and uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab the other overhead valve valve cover, and I'm gonna modify it. Okay. Sounds good. Sixty, buddy. Sixty. Sixty miles an hour. All right, so catch can, right? Yeah. Oh, a real deal, proper catch can. Oh, I was just gonna get a soda can or something. Oh yeah, that totally works too. Oh yeah, yeah. Can't be too legit. Um, all right, so the internet says valve lash for intake and exhaust needs to be set at .003. So we got our little tool. I'm gonna find .003 and uh, find top dead center. I think that's what I need to do and do it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Dude? Yeah. It needs to be 0 .003 for intake and exhaust, and the smallest you have is 0 .005. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Well, just make sure it's 0 .005 tight. I mean, it can't be long ways yeah. because <laughs> that rooster. That's getting kind of annoying. <laughs> <laughs> we might be having some chicken for dinner. I'd like for it to be removable so we can take it and then pour it back in the engine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, crap. I'm down with that. Hey, mate, no. No. Mate. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. Let's All right. just pop her in there. Just want to make this clear that this is what the forums are saying. Not, yeah, it's not like a legit. It's not legit, and I call BS on it. So, valve adjustment's done. Um, because we didn't have the proper tool and we couldn't decide on what to make the valve lash on the intake and exhaust, we just kind of eyeballed it and guesstimated. So if you happen to know what the correct valve lash is for the intake and exhaust on one of these Predator 212s with 18 pound springs, I don't know if that makes a difference, let us know. I guess we need to look at footage and see if it was any faster and like look at, you don't remember the times from last night, do you? No. We're gonna do three more runs with the new uh, high compression head see if it's any faster. The average of the three times last night was 4.71 seconds over 120 feet. We're gonna see if it's any faster. I hope it is, man. Here you go. Come on. Ah. First time was 487. He thinks he was uh, slow on the takeoff, and I believe I was slow on the uh, stop button. Four seventy one. Four eighty eight. 
No faster on the, uh, what was our best time before? The average was 471. It's 488 on that one. But one you, are, you are slow on the takeoff again. All right. Four seventy three. Let's see what it'll do wide open. Five twenty seven. Maybe he was sleeping a little bit. I think it feels a little bit stronger. Every power stroke is just uh it feels a little harder. I hope so. But you know, could be placebo effect. Top speed run? Yeah, let's uh, load her up and uh, bring some tools with us. Bring some tools with us so we can put the GoPower Swords McCuny on it. Then we're going to have to make a run to uh, Agri Supply, find ourselves a little baby sprocket so we can uh, hit 60. Hopefully, that won't be a problem since that hub doesn't appear to want to come off because there's no nut on it. We've been doing 57 miles per hour with no nut on the hub of the Oh, jeez, dude. All right, yeah, I mean, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. You see? Oh, yeah.